So guys, I about got the driver's side of old Eliza back together, the door and the A pillar. I got them all lined up. They're working good again. I got I got pieces welded in there. It's all stiffened up now. I'm happy with it. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of movement there, so uh, I just done a little stiffening and uh, kind of grabbed a hold of everything, bent it and tweaked it, got it all back in place, and hey, man, it's working good. I'm happy with that. Oh, that's ugly. Okay guys, I've been out here making this bottom piece that goes below the hinge for the A-pillar. In the last video, I said I was gonna bend a piece this way and this way, and then a piece this way and then out this way and then weld it down that front seam. I changed my mind on that a little bit. When I got taking that piece off, I realized it ended right here. It never did have a piece bent this way. It just had an edge that came down here. So what I did is I took two pieces and I got this made in one piece. It's welded from the back side. And um, the way that was attached before, I took the old one off of there. I pried it off and it was attached with three plug welds right down through there on that inner structure. That inner structure is pretty good, I think. So I drilled three holes in this one I'm gonna try to plug that back, plug weld that back on there. And I'm just gonna put some stitches along this bottom hinge because I don't think, I've thought about it. I don't see any reason I would ever have to take that hinge off. 
If ever I was needing to take the door off, I would just take the pins out. The only time I think I would ever have to take the hinge off would be if the A-pillar was damaged or the hinge was damaged. And at that point, hell, I'll just grind the spot while it's back off. But I don't, I don't see much of a reason to take that hinge off very often. So that's how that piece is fitting. It's hard to get a good view, isn't it, guys? With the... Yeah, just like that. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, get this one on. I'm going to leave this corner overhang a little bit like here, like it does. See how it kind of overhangs? Because when I put this inner piece on down here and here, to get back to this body mount, I might be able to put a little weld on it right there. But you know, that'd be a good thing, I think. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's keep going here. That looks pretty good. I think old Henry would be proud of me. Got our first piece in. Get that ground off when I grind off everything else, but. Yeah. problem is, the problem is, guys, is uh, the pasture side. Now, I got Colton down here today, and I had him pick up the back of the door and rock it while I laid down in there and looked so I could see what was moving, you know? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you, there is nothing down there that don't move. Everything moves. The A pillar slides in and out like this. The corner of the door does one of these. Guys, I'm telling you, the only thing holding that door and that A-pillar together on the bottom on that side is hopes, dreams, and a sprinkle of pixie dust. Now, I start working on that. I think that it is going to be the most severe rust repair attempt I have ever seen on a YouTube channel. I think back to all the YouTubers, all the shows I've watched, and I don't think I have ever seen anybody try to fix anything this bad. All the guys I watch, what they would do is probably find another donor car, cut the A-pillar out of it, find a different door, yeah, it's bad. But anyway, that's where we're at with it.
So, what all exactly is going on here? The foot of the A-pillar is completely rotted off. There's nothing. There's nothing holding that. So I'm gonna grind that bolt out. Come up here, bend me a plate of some kind. This here, where the bottom hinge goes on the A-pillar, all the structure's bad in there. However, it does look pretty good as soon as I get to here. I think I can probably, well, I don't know. There's a crack there too. I don't know how high I'm gonna have to come there yet. It'd be best if I come clear up in here somewhere, but I don't know. And then the door, there seems to be no structure left in the door whatsoever. Bottom hinge is still attached there. Somebody's kind of tried to weld it before. All right. There's a pretty good view of the bottom hinge. It's got tack welds here and here. Somebody's welded it to the door to try to keep it working. I see there's also a tack weld down here. Looks like they tacked it in three spots. Trying to kind of keep it on there. The A pillar, I got. I'm gonna have to completely rebuild that. And I bought a piece of um, strap, eighth inch strap steel. Uh, I'm gonna try to use that to do that with. Between that and the 18 gauge I got, I think I can do something. Well, guys, I showed you that door jam. That's all doom and gloom. Uh, yeah, doom and gloom. But hey, I'll get it better. But anyway, let's look at the good stuff, right? Let's look at the good stuff. We got this box of cool white vinyl. Yeah, I'm gonna do the interior of the car in white. This stuff here is textured. I think that's gonna go in the center of the seat. Then we got smooth stuff that's gonna go around the perimeter. We're gonna come up with some kind of a beading, a colored beading to go in between. I haven't decided on the color of the beading yet. Uh, I'm gonna put some accents on that dash and whatever color I use there, I'll use for the beading. But uh, we got a lot of vinyl in here. And uh, we, bought, we bought all this on Cyber Monday and uh, it should be enough to do the whole interior of the car you know, at Cyber Monday where you get the deals and stuff. I don't know. It was like a third of the price that normally would have been or what have you, you know. So um, anyway, we got all that here. And then that got delivered today. That's going to have the windshield gasket in there. Yeah, but here's, here's what I really want to show you guys. These gauges came. Some of them cheap gauges I was talking about in the last video. These things are absolutely beautiful. They're made of metal. I, you know, they are so cheap. I don't know what the quality is going to be on these, but man, do they look great. That's a speedometer. I didn't know if this was going to come with a volt gauge or an amp gauge. In the picture, it showed both. It came with the amp gauge, which I think is cool because uh, that car would you know, be more period correct for the car, right? But, uh, yeah, that thing is going to look awesome in there. Also in there, there's a, there's a tack. You got your oil pressure, your water temperature, and your fuel gauge. I can hardly wait. I'm going to paint the inside of that car white, and then I'm going to do a pearl clear coat over everything. So it's going to be pearl white. Now picture white vinyl seats with a, a colored beading of some sort in them. Probably beading in a door panel of the same color. 
we got these cool gauges that are going to look awesome up against that pearl white dash. White vinyl seats, white vinyl interior, and then a pearl white. Yeah. And then the outside of the car is just going to look as crappy as it does right now. When you open the door and look inside, it is going to be shocking. But uh, anyway, here's that piece of strap steel I bought today. Uh, it didn't... I don't know what size it is. I think it's written in metric or something when you buy it. And I don't know my metrics very well. But... It's eighth of an inch. I'm going to use this to get that A pillar reinforced and that bottom hinge reinforced. Between this and uh, whatever I build up here with this and the 18 gauge, we'll get something working. Don't worry, fellas. I don't know what yet. It'll be trial and error, but something will work somehow. So anyway, yeah, I'm real happy with all that. This time of year, man, I am busy at work. I am busy at work this time of year, and uh, I just I just haven't had, today was nice, that was like 52 degrees. I would have loved to have been staying home today and working in that garage. I could have got a video out. If I could have had all day out there today, I could have got the driver's side A-pillar done. I could have got started on the other A-pillar and door, just trying to get everything figured out. <clears throat> and I also could have sprayed a little paint today. Man, I would love to have spent eight or ten hours out there today, but I got customers, and uh, they need stuff too, you know. So I got to take care of them first, and um, this second. But um, anyway, fellas, I just wanted to give you a quick update, show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, I guess. And uh, we'll probably, probably get a vi new video, a long one out. Uh, Saturday, I would think. It seems like with my work schedule, Saturday's probably going to be the day I'm uploading most of my longer, bigger videos. And then uh, maybe during the week, I'll try to do, you know, something short like this, just to kind of update guys and, and keep you updated. Hey, picked up a few more subscribers. That's awesome. Uh, I love subscribers. But anyway, uh, keep telling your friends, watching the videos, share them. Anybody that wants to see me working on this old thing, I mean... I don't know. You guys must find it a little bit interesting. I know I do. So, uh, I am not your low-budget YouTube channel. There's another guy that claims to be a low-budget YouTube channel. And he's correct. He is. Love that guy. But I'm not a low-budget YouTube channel. I am a no-budget. No-budget YouTube channel. I got a long, long, long way to go before YouTube ever pays me anything. So, uh... I'm just doing it for fun. Anyway, see where it goes, right? Catch you guys probably Saturday. See you then, Jeremy. Bye.